In February 2020, Zhang Jian, a citizen journalist, went to Wuhan to report on the COVID-19 pandemic. She claimed that the Chinese government covered up the outbreak and that it had paralyzed Wuhan. RFI reported that Zhang was quickly arrested by the Chinese police and was subsequently sentenced to four years in jail in May 2020 for disturbing crimes. In prison, Zhang frequently went on hunger strike to protest the government's sentencing and mistreatment of her. One of her former lawyers revealed that he met Zhang in winter 2020. At that time, Zhang was very emaciated. A food tube was forced into her nose. Her hands were also tied so that she could not pull the tube out. Zhang's lawyer was later stripped of his license to practice by the Chinese government. Chinese authorities must ensure Zhang's complete freedom from May 13th, says Amnesty International's China director, Sarah Brooks. Brooks has requested the Chinese authorities to permit Zhang to travel without any restrictions so that she can communicate with people both inside and outside of China and be reunited with her family. It's imperative that Zhang and her family are not subjected to any kind of surveillance or harassment. Furthermore, the Chinese authorities must ensure that there are no restrictions on Zhang's medical treatment, considering the trauma she suffered while in prison. According to human rights activist Jane Wong, Zhang was released shortly after the death anniversary of Lin Zhao, a well-known dissident who was executed by the Chinese regime during the Cultural Revolution. Wang believes that Zhang, despite being very young, possesses the same temperament as Lin Zhao. She calls Zhang the Lin Zhao of Xi Jinping's time.